I just have a conditioning idea. And this isn't some new groundbreaking idea, but I get a lot of questions about conditioning, how to condition for this sport and that sport. And I'm a proponent of having a decent aerobic base. And I know there's some coaches out there that say there's no need to train for aerobic capacity. And obviously the sport that's in question matters too. But if you're someone that either can't do or just doesn't want to do true aerobic capacity work, I think a good alternative you could do is sub-maximal repeated sprints. Now I'm not talking about repeated sprints or training for repeated sprint ability. Repeated sprint ability would be the ability to sprint at maximal effort and limit the the drop off in performance from rep to rep. But I'm talking about sub-maximal repeated sprinting. You can take something like 85 to 95% of your best effort for a shorter sprint, say a 10 yard fly from a 10 yard build. So you're not performing reps until you drop off a certain percentage of your best effort. You're just maintaining a percentage of your best effort for a predetermined number of reps. So all of the reps are sub-maximal, but still are high in effort. So for example, if your best 10 yard fly is a 1.1, and you wanna maintain 90% of that speed, then you would wanna run a 1.21 10 yard fly over the course of like 15 total reps with relatively short rests. This hopefully ensures a more aerobic demand during both the activity and rest periods. It's similar to tempo runs in that you're not running at maximal speed, but you're still performing the sprinting motor pattern and getting in sprinting shapes. And you can obviously play around with different speeds, distances, and rest periods. You can basically think of this as shorter and faster tempo runs. And many sports do involve quite a bit of fast, but not maximal sprinting over the course of a game. So I'm probably going to try to do this for a while and see if I like it. Maybe it's a good idea. Maybe it's not, but I'll find out.